back to Ion Rivers. Before the break, we were looking at the state's power sector and infrastructure development, which you can see taking place all around us. Now let's delve into the dynamics of agriculture and education and how far River State has come in their transformation agenda. The state's agriculture sector has seen good development over the past five years. In 2012, a further 3 billion naira has been allocated towards the sector. Governor Amechi believes that the sector is the foundation for sustainable economic development and will play a significant role in employment generation. The Rizon Palm project in particular is generating thousands of jobs and will receive a fresh 20 billion naira infusion this year, whilst the already successful Songhai Farms initiative is being replicated throughout the state. We think that agriculture is, uh, is a source by which you can create mass employment. Uh, especially for the, those who are not uh, too educated. Uh, so we're focusing on that to remove people from the streets and take them back to uh, jobs like this that will help us have uh, rest amongst those who do other business and are threatened by the poor. So this can at least put food on the table of the poor. That is the main objective of the agricultural program that we're pursuing. What we've done so far is, here we are, is, uh, and this is a greenhouse for 2,000 hectares of banana farm. This is a nursery. From here they transfer to the farm, and here they've just planted about uh, uh, a hectare or two, and their target is 2,000 hectares. Uh, they, think that by, they think that in nine months they should be able to finish uh, 1,000, and then the next time, before the next end of the next nine months, they should be able to finish the remaining 1,000 to make it 2,000. Uh, I hear they will export the banana. I hear that, but my target is employment. But we have the 3,000 hectares uh, of cocoa and mist cropping in Eche, which will cost us 140 million dollars. Uh, 100 million dollars will be brought by the. Uh, River State government, where the $40 million will be invested by the Israeli company. That again will generate between f two to three to 4,000 workers. And then we have Songhai. We'll drive past Songhai. We may not have to come down. But the Songhai, at least for now, is generating between two to 300 to 400 workers. And they're producing food for the people. So we're not just saying private sector should just go and invest. Most of them are, are very scared to invest in agriculture in Nigeria. So we bring in our own resources. Some we are higher, so we'll do 60. <laughs> Some we are lower, we'll do 40%. For this, we're doing 40%. The Mexican investor here has 60% of the investment. For the one in uh, Che, we're doing 60%. The Israeli investor has 40%. So guy is 100% River State government, 100%. Uh, where else are we investing in agriculture? Oil palm, Rizom palm, we have been able to revive Rizom palm. And uh, it's doing well, it's reabsorbing those that they have sacked, and they are increasing employment there. By the time the finish, I will begin to sell. You can be rest assured that in two, three, four years, we should be able to recoup whatever we have invested. So 40% of 20 billion will be, how much would that be? It should be, it should be less than 80, it should be less than 8 billion, or about 8 billion. And I, I think we should be able to recoup that before, before the end of the, before the end of the, Say, from what they told us, in five years we should be able to recoup for investment. He said three, but we are thinking five. The developments in the agriculture sector have meant that sacrifices had to be made. Many local communities have been moved to make way for the expansive farm projects. But the state government has promised that these disruptions will not be too harshly felt. We've been able to disburse two billion naira for all of those who are involved, whose lands we've taken and uh, they have been paid properly. So we're not owing anybody. Uh, couple with the fact that if you heard the brief here, they say for every 250 hectares, they will employ 500 workers. If you multiply that by uh, 2,000 hectares, you can imagine how many staff they will employ, or how many workers they will employ. Huge capital investment in the state's school infrastructure have transformed the education sector. It includes a program of free primary and secondary school education with an added focus on ICT. Aside from focusing on the pupils, the state government is also paying renewed attention to the teaching staff. Comprehensive retraining of teachers is currently underway. With a budget of 71.5 billion naira allocated to the sector, the state believes it will be able to achieve its goals. We have adapted the national curriculum. 
we, 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 we are training teachers in the, in the other secondary schools other than these new ones. These new ones, the Indians will hire 40 percent of the teachers from overseas, 60 percent locally. And all, like I said, all of them will live here. So the, the adapted curriculum is what they will use to teach the children. Then we will then introduce ICT. And then in traditional ICT, we then have to make sure they have their own laptops so that when they finish from classes, they can as well use the laptops in their different tool sets. And this, the, uh, this place will be ICT enabled. The government decided to establish this, what we refer to as model secondary schools. They, uh, they will contain 1,000 students, uh, 24 of, of the secondary schools to be built. Uh, in this school, there will be two children per room. When you go to the hostess, you will see what they look like. And then there will be dining halls for 1,000 students. We are standing by the auditorium, offices, library, laboratories, uh, houses for teachers. We've, we've outsourced it to an Indian company. The Indian company is already in town. You can see that this school has been completed for the past three years, but due process delayed the outsourcing. Now we've succeeded in outsourcing it and handed it over to the Indian company. So the Indian company has moved in. They will resume in October, September, October. And we, we are working hard to ensure they resume in seven schools. Uh, the, the, the expenditure, both recorded and capital per year per school, is 800 million naira. Uh, that includes maintenance, feeding of the children, uh, purchase of books, laptops, everything to run the school. I want to get the community involved, so there will be a board of governors here, despite the principal and those managing it. They will participate in the governance of the school. Uh, that's where it is. So we've introduced a tax we call social welfare tax. And that social welfare tax, we believe, can, will contribute about four billion naira to the running of education and and uh, health. The, for every year, we need about twenty-four billion naira to run education and health. So we think that between uh, the two, between the two areas, we can raise four billion from the people, and then augment it to twelve, uh, with twenty with twenty billion.